Hi, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to use the law of sines when you are given in the pattern angle, angle, side. So law of sines will work 100% of the time when you are given this pattern. Angle, angle, side means that you have two angles and a non-included side. So if it was angle, side, angle, that means the side in between would be given. All right, so what we're going to do is solve the triangle. We are going to use the law of sines, which is written out here for us. Um, the first thing that we want to do is start with finding angle C. To find angle C, we have to use the fact that all of the angles of a triangle add up to be 180 degrees. So 30 plus 50 plus angle C has to equal 180. So we can say that 180 minus the sum of 30 and 50 would give us angle C. So if we solve this, we would end up with 100 degrees. So that's the first thing that we have to find is angle C. Now we're going to move on actually using the law of sines. It's always best practice to use the side and sorry the, sorry, the angle and the side opposite that is known. So I'm going to use angle A and side A as my relationship to find the other two. So this one, because I was given um, angle 30 with the opposite side of 10, that is the best angle to use to find both B and C. So let's start by finding B. So we're going to use this relationship right here. Any two of these can be set up equal to each other. So we could say that A is 10. And I tend to set it up where the side is on top if I'm solving for a side. And I tend to set it up using sine of the angle if I'm trying to find an angle measure, which I'll do in another video. Okay, so I would set this up as 10 over sine 30 is equal to B over sine 50. Now my goal is to solve for B. And so I would say that B is equal to 10 sine 50 because the opposite of dividing by sine 50 is multiplying by sine 50 over sine 30. So basically what I did was just multiplied both sides by sine 50 and then I would plug this into a calculator. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my TI-84 to show you how to plug it in in here. Um, I do want to make sure that my mode is in degrees, which it is. Um, typically, it's in radians to start with, so I want it in degrees. And then all I have to do is plug into my calculator 10 times sine of 50. Make sure that you close the parentheses divided by sine 30. Okay. And then just hit enter and we end up with 15.32. Just round to however many places um, that your text tells you to. If it doesn't say the more places is always more precise. Um, typically we round to two decimal places, one to two decimal places more than the given information. So since the given side was in whole numbers, I'm just going to round to two decimal places. So I get 15.32. All right, so now we just have to find side C is our last thing that we want to find. And like I said before, since we know A is 10 and we know um, the angle opposite is 30, that's the best one to use because those are exact values because that was given to us. This is an approximate and while I could use the 15.32 and sine of 50, it's best practice to use the given information to solve the rest of the triangle. All right, so our last one that we would set up is we're trying to find side C, and then we would put that over sine of 100. And something else that you want to keep in mind um, with triangles is the side opposite of the largest angle has to be the largest side. The side opposite of the smallest angle has to be the smallest side. So since 30 is the smallest angle, the side opposite of it is 10. So 10 should be your smallest. 50 is in between. So 15.32 notice is bigger than 10. And since 100 degrees is larger than both of these angles, side C has to be larger than 15.32. So that's just some um, information that you should know. All right, so let's set this up. C is equal to 10 times sine of 100. 
divide it by sine 30 and make sure that when you put it into your calculator that you close the parentheses behind the 100. So let's go back and grab our calculator. And for this one, if you wanted to, you could hit second enter so you don't have to retype everything. And I could just go and change this to 100. And I'm just gonna insert second delete will allow you to insert information in. And we get 19.696, so this would round up to 19.70. So C is approximately 19.70, and we have solved the triangle. You can always check your work to, by plugging in sine um, 30 divided by 10, or you could set up the ratios of all of them to see if they're equal. That would just guarantee that you for sure got the correct answer. As always, Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.